This book is called The Very Quiet Cricket. It's written and the illustrations are painted by Eric Carl. Eric Carl has dedicated this book to Sally and Bob, and he adds this note at the beginning. There are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say it sounds like a song. So this is the story by Eric Carl, The Very Quiet Cricket, this version by Philemo Books. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Mm, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Zzz, how are you? Zzz, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. Oh, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening. Word, a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he, he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. And 
and she liked listening to that beautiful sound. The end. On this page in the background, you can see all the uh, diagonal up and down scratchy lines with different colors that Eric Carle likes to use. If you go back even to the previous page, you can see this is a design element that he uses in almost all of his drawings. Um, there is online a fun place you can visit, the carlmuseum.org, and it's got information about his books. And if you actually are ever in Amherst, Massachusetts, you can go visit this place. If you live in Michigan, you probably know all about crickets already. And if you live in other parts of the United States or in the world, crickets are found in a lot of places. And there are always people that care about different sorts of animals. If you want to learn more about katydids and grasshoppers and crickets as part of the insect kingdom, you can go to cricketcare.org, or you can start just exploring on your own by searching out scientists around the world who study um, crickets. And that was the book, The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle.